This is an e-mount bike and in this video I'm going to give you five reasons why this can possibly take the place of a road bike or a gravel bike. All right, crazy statement, right? You know, they couldn't be farther from each other in terms of looks and weight. But hey, this is the main reason why I don't have a road bike. And I think a lot of my friends feel the same way. And it is crazy. So I'm going to give you five reasons. But to start off, I'm going to give you some background about me. About 30 years ago, I started this website called mtbr.com. You might have heard of it. Uh, all about mountain bikes using the power of the web, the, the sharing power of the web. And a couple of years later, I started Road Bike Review. So I do have some background on, on the road bike scene. And when I had kids, you know, I just fell in love with it. You know, I got into the road biking thing, whole new set of equipment. And, you know, you know, I put the baby down, I go for a ride, and then I start racing, I do hill climbs. I got addicted for five years, that's all I did. I didn't even touch my mountain bikes. Now in the world of e-bikes, I'm finding this fills the void, uh, fills a lot of the same purposes that the road bike fulfilled. Okay, so I'm gonna give you five reasons. The first reason is this is a time efficient machine. So, you know, it's like a time capsule, so to speak. You know, in the old days, you know, a lot of people get into road biking because you don't have time. You know, you have a new baby, you have a new job, you have a budding career, you live in the city, and you only have one hour to ride. So you ride from your doorstep on your road bike, uh, you do your thing, and then lunch hour, and then boom, you're back, you're productive again. And this does the exact same thing. You have an hour, you put the baby down, or you, you put the keyboard down, and boom, you can do magic with one hour. You could be on the road, you can get to the trail, and then you're, you're, you're back. So that magic hour, hour and a half, you can do a lot of great things with this because you don't have to jump in your car. At the same token, if you have three hours, you could just drain your battery, you go on a 6,000 foot ride, uh, you know, ride from your doorstep and do something grand. Uh, so in all aspects, this and road biking are almost identical in terms of time efficiency. I used to go to the ocean and back uh, from San Jose uh, in, on my road bike. And now this thing, I would just do the hills, do my 6,000, 7,000 feet of climbing, you know, with some good effort and then be back in time to watch my kids' baseball game. The number two reason why this is a lot like the road bike is there is a lower barrier to fitness uh, for entry into the sport. You know, let's face it, mountain biking, especially on most areas, is very hard. You know, we were surrounded by 2,000 and 3,000 foot hills. So very, very few people can, can get into it in a, in a kind of enthusiast manner. You have to be kind of, kind of type A uh, type of fun uh, to do the big hills. For road biking though, you'll notice that, hey, kids are road biking, 80 year olds are road biking because it doesn't have to be hard. It can be very hard, but it doesn't have to be. You know, there's a lot of flat roads, rolling roads around, and you see over here where I live, you know, a, a whole group of retirees, 70 and 80 years old, they ride together as a pack. You know, it's, it's all inclusive. Uh, and the e-bike does the same thing. You know, you could, it could be very hard or it could be easy. You know, it's all up to you. Uh, and basically, instead of, instead of riding flat ground, you have your motor assist that you can configure to what you want your effort to be. You know, because of that, you can ride with other people of different skill sets. You know, I ride with some 70-year-olds, 70, 70 I ride with some 15-year-olds. I myself, I'm, I'm getting close to 60, and we do these rad rides together. Descending, you're on your own, you gotta, you gotta develop that skill, but climbing, it really, you know, bridges the gap uh, between a lot of different skill sets. Road biking, same thing. You know, you could ride with people faster than you uh, because it doesn't have to be steep. You know, even in, especially in the rollers, in the flats, you know, the, the guy, the strongest guy takes the front and, and they do 30% more work than you do. So you can ride together, <laughs> right? All right, number three, I'm gonna go out on the limb here and probably, this is probably the most controversial one, is this e-bike allows you to be a better rider. It allows you to develop skill. Uh, same with the road bike, it allows you to be a better rider and, and gain some new skills. 
Mind you, they're very different types of skills. So this allows you to be a better descender. You know, it is a common surprise among e-mountain bikers that, hey, I descend better now. You know, I do fire rolls better, I do jumps better because there's so much repetition. And how do you become a better rider? Repetition and instruction. You couple those two and man, there's no way you cannot be better, you know, after a year of doing this. With road biking, where it becomes uh, an aid to you is the climbing. The climbing is so pure, it is so efficient that you're able to do it. You're able to improve in climbing. And pretty much in my day, every single competitive mountain biker had to train on a road bike because it's a lot less beating on the body and you know you could do a lot more with your time. So and you, you know when you do your 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 cadences and your intervals and whatnot, it was you know road biking was perfect for it. Now in both cases you can't you can't abandon the mountain bike. You know, you, you know, you're, it's not going to be good at a mountain bike if you don't do it. But the majority could be on the training tool and then you hone the skill in with the actual mountain bike. Uh, so, you know, in fact, you should have all three. You know, you get a bit, become a better descender on the mountain bike and then you go, become a better climber on the road bike and then you, uh, on the mountain bike, you're like dialed in. All right, the number four reason why this is a lot like the road bike is because it gets you around. It allows you to cover a lot of ground. You know, let's face it, you know, you wanna commute, you wanna, you wanna ride to the trail, uh, this will get you there. You know, you, you, wanna, you wanna do a car replacement, you know, get rid of your car, you're not gonna do it with a mountain bike. You can do it with a road bike and you can do it with an e-bike or this e-mountain bike. You, you're able to cover a lot of ground. You know, you can work a lot, you, you don't have to work a lot. You, uh, you, you need to carry some cargo, uh, you know, this basically, uh, you know, allows you to go on pavement and, 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 uh, and, and travel 10, 20 miles each way and get to your destination and back. Mind you, if it's a pure e-mountain bike, there's a 20 mile an hour uh, speed limit uh, with these motors. So it is a bit of a problem, but there's ways around that. You can get a class three e-bike if you really want to do a lot of road. Uh, and commuting, and if you have a lot of cargo, you have all these cargo bikes that are very handy. Same thing with road bikes. Road bikes, there's so many different styles. There's commuters, there's cargo bikes. You know, that's, that's, where, it's, that's where it's all derived from. All right, the last reason why it is a lot like the road bike is because it's an N plus one bike, you know? Some people call it another sport. E-biking is another sport. It's like, it's not another sport. It's just another category of bike. Same thing with road bike. It's just another category. And the beauty of these things is they all share the common thread of biking. They're all bikes, even though this one is assisted. And, you know, it's an N plus one bike. So if you are a true hardcore cyclist, you know, you're like, oh man, another toy, another whole new set of technologies and geometries to get involved with. So if you're into the products and whatnot, you know, oh yeah, you'll be, you'll be so stoked with this. I'm still stoked on my road bike days where, you know, where you're, you're optimizing grams, you're optimizing aerodynamics and whatnot. You know, it, it just another toy to add to the stable on the good side, on the bad side, it's another drain, another big hole in your wallet. So it really is kind of a, a, a whole new, a uh, set of uh, research and shopping uh, and, and kind of indulgences uh, to play with the e-mountain bike. Uh, and the same thing with the road bike, same thing with the gravel bike. So there you go, you know, a little bit out on the limb, you know, it's just random thoughts that I, I said, you know, because I'm always thinking of getting a gravel bike uh, or, or a cross bike. And I said, why, why do I need one when, I, when this, is, this is serving that purpose? I ride to the trailhead almost every day uh, and, and it's helping me in, uh, in a lot of ways that a gravel or road bike would. So there you go. Let me know in the comments if I'm hitting the mark with you or I'm way off base with you guys. All right. Thanks a ton, everybody.